Hi, I'm Laura Rogers, and today's short screencast is to show you a solution that can be done with InfoPath and to get around the problem with repeating tables. In, Re in InfoPath, we have this great concept of repeating tables inside of a form, which gives you the ability to add multiple lines as something like an example, like an expense report or a PO that needs to have multiple things entered into the form in a table. Well, the problem with these in the past has been that uh, that table, that whole sub list of information, you can't really do much with it once you've uh, submitted your form to SharePoint. So there, you know, there are custom ways, there are ways with code and ways with um, XML and web services that people have kind of gotten around this to be able to write to you know, SharePoint lists and databases and things like that. But uh, the example that I'm show going to show you in this blog post that I've written is how you can do it using just SharePoint out-of-the-box functionality and InfoPath with the great new InfoPath form web part. So here's the example. I'll show you uh, an expense report that's been created and show you what the solution looks like finished and then I'll show you the example of going through creating a, an expense report. So this is a new way of doing repeating tables where you can use SharePoint lists as all of your sort of sub lists joined together with your form to create uh, a dashboard that looks that gives you the illusion of having one big form with uh, separate tables inside of it. So I have this list of expense reports and so this top information here is of, of course there are going to be more fields than this in a normal expense report. It's just very basic information. This is the information about the expense report as a whole and then this expense detail, this is the sub-report. This is the subset of information about each item in the expense. So breakfast, lunch, food, different things like that, travel, different types of expenses that would have been added. So this is the, and you can have multiple SharePoint lists inserted on here. These are just web parts that are connected to each other. So I'll go through creating a new one. It seems pretty simple. The blog post that I've written is about 41 steps, but uh, it's a nice little neat solution with no code. So I'll cl click to fill out a new expense report. Conference, and let's see, RT, submit my form. And uh, this was sort of the one of the trickiest parts about this form was how to get to the dashboard immediately after creating a new form. And this is all explained in my uh, in my blog post. So here is now I'm on my expense dashboard. So I see the information that I just submitted and then I have the ability to click to create to add a new expense detail. So I'm going to say um, flight and let's see, submit that. And then I can fill out another detail if I'd like. So, and then I'll go back to my dashboard and now I have um, expenses that were associated with this particular um, trip that I went on. And now as you can see, a lot of this is done behind the scenes using a lot of parameters and data and web part connections, passing data back and forth between the web parts. So this, this dashboard shows me all the information about this form and you'll notice when I'm hovering over the button to add a new expense detail, that's where I get, it says expense ID equals eight. So when I pull up that new form, it's passing that information to it. And then when I go back to my home page, this is the new form I created. And now I can click, you can see in the URL at the bottom of the screen that it's got this parameter information that it's sending to this dashboard page. So I can click to open any form and now it will show me all the details about that particular expense. Go ahead and read my blog post for 41 steps on how to create a solution like this and how to do all the web part connections. Thanks.